Hello everyone, uh, welcome you all to another video for ethical hacking course and in this video we will be talking about port scanning. So uh, we'll, we'll, the main agenda item for this, this video is uh, definition of port scanning. We will try to understand what port scanning is. Uh, then we will discuss different types of port scans, like different type of scans. So let's start with the definition of port scanning. So port scanning means when we, when we find the services offered by a host. For example, if this is a remote server and you want to find out what type of services they are running. For example, if the server is running HTTP, if server is running FTP, if server is, for example, running SMTP, etc., etc., so we we scan that particular particular server for different different services, and we look for what type of uh, version of running uh, of the services are running on that particular server. This is called port scanning. Very important step for ethical hacking. So the definition will become method of finding method of finding services offered by a host. This is basically called port scanning. And typically, if you look and uh, look look a computer, computer has two types of port. Port means the doorways, or you can say avenues through which computer can communicate with external devices. So in a computer, in a server, there are two main types of ports, right? A port can be a physical port, a tangible port, which you can touch, or a port can be a logical port. Logical port means like, uh, which you cannot touch, of course. So physical port uh, are, for example, HDMI, you guys, are familiar with HDMI, USB ports, for example, charging port, those are called ports. Again, uh, we connect, physically we connect the devices through those ports. Logical ports are, again, we cannot see them. Logical ports, how many logical ports are there in a computer? It's approximately 65,036. So 65536 is the total number of logical ports in a computer through which computer can communicate. Now, out of these 65,000 logical ports, there are three different categories. Common ports, the one which we use for most common well-known functionalities of TCP, we'll discuss that. Then we have registered port. Then we have uh, the private port, also named as dynamic ports, right? So zero to 1023 ports are basically considered as common ports, common functionalities of TCP IP. Uh, registered ports start from 1024 and it goes 49151 while private and dynamic ports start from 49512 to 65535. All right, so because we started zero, that's why it land up to uh, 65536. Now, common ports we already know, like for example, the service is HTTP 80, HTTPS, for example, 443, for example, FTP, we know that service is 2021, etc, etc. Registered ports are basically those ports are assigned to those ports which are basically used for um, uh, for specific services for software developers. For example, MySQL, if you're running MySQL, this port is like less common. Uh, the port is 3306, for example, post GRI. SQL for database management, open source database management, we use 5432. Similarly, RDP, remote desktop protocol, which is 3389, etc. So these are basically called registered port, which are less common used for by organization or the software development for specific tasks. Private ports are typically used for temporary connection. So temporary connections. So for example, let's say, if you remember the SYN protocol. In SYN protocol, this is, for example, a client and that's, for example, a server. So, for example, sir, a client want to access port 443, let's say a secure page, which is HTTPS. So, client will send a SYN request, remember, three-way handshake. So, in that scenario, client will not going to use his own 443. He's going to use a port from private port. Let's say maybe 50,001, something like that from this particular range. So this is for temporary connection. So this is basically like a small overview of the port. And now we understand what is port scanning. Now, before we understand how we do the port scanning, because very importantly uh, for port scanning, most of the port scanners, they basically use or exploit SYN protocol, the three-way handshake protocol. So let's quickly review the three-way handshake protocol. So the three-way handshake protocol, we already know that a TCP packet, a communication or packet can be TCP or UDP over the internet. TCP means connection oriented, 
ट्रांसमिशन कंट्रोल प्रोटोकॉल इट बेसिकली यूज अ थ्री वे हैंडशेक बिफोर स्टार्ट द कम्युनिकेशन वॉल यू डी पी इज अनरिलायबल इट स्टार्ट द कम्युनिकेशन फॉर गैर आई मीन इट डजेंट केयर इफ एनी बडी इज लिस्निंग टू इट और नॉट सो इन थ्री वे हैंडशेक लेट्स लेट्स ड्रॉ अ टी सी पी पैकेट सो लेट्स दिस इज सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अवर टी सी पी पैकेट राइट इन टी सी पी पैकेट वी हैव अ सोर्स आई पी एड्रेस वी हैव सोर्स मैक मैक एड्रेस वी हैव द सोर्स पोर्ट नंबर एज वेल राइट सिमिलरली वी हैव डेस्टिनेशन आई पी एड्रेस डेस्टिनेशन मैक एड्रेस गेट वे फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू ऑलरेडी नो इन नेटवर्किंग इफ यू डिट वॉच द अदर वीडियो प्लीज डू वॉच माई नेटवर्किंग या टी सी पी आई पी वीडियो एंड देन डेस्टिनेशन पोर्ट नंबर all right then it also have a sequence number as well like what type of packet like packet number 1 like 1 to 100 bits are here or 100 to 200 bits are here then it has a payload like a data which you want to transmit beside these payloads and data it also has six different type of flag for example there is a flag sin flag there is a flag ack flag we also got a flag push flag we have a urgent flag we got a reset flag and fin flag so these are different types of flag which accompany a tcp packet when you send a tcp packet we going to actually send through uh, we, we send the packet using these sort of flags i mean the flag would be on so for example let's take example so sin flag or sin is it basically indicates beginning of the session beginning of the session acknowledgement mean data has received push mean so push flag is very important if you see uh, a packet has a push flag on what does it mean it means don't buffer the data and push it to the application directly push it to the application so application can process it urgent mean for example this this particular packet might belong to a previous conversation so you just have to i mean give a priority priority to this particular packet reset mean for example if the service is down or there is a error occurred so they want a reestablishment of the session fin mean when communication need to be ended so in a sin protocol what happens we already know that so let's say this is a client and this particular client wants to communicate with this particular server specifically let's say i want to use their port 443 so firstly what's going to happen client is going to send this tcp packet like the whole tcp packet with only one flag on sin flag on all right without any play payload to 443 if the port is open means service is running then what's going to happen they're going to respond you back with sin acknowledgement all right and for example after you receive the acknowledgement like they're going to actually set, uh, turn on two flags sin and acknowledgement rest of the flag will be off then you're going to send respond back with the same tcp packet with only one flag on that is ack flag on and after that the bidirectional communication will start and whenever you want to terminate the session you're going to send a tcp packet with fin flag on this is called three way handshake which we have already talked about now coming back to uh, the the port scanning So, for example, let's say there are different type of scans. Six scans that we're going to talk about. The first scan is called SYN scan. So, SYN scan is basically a stealth scan. It is a stealth scan. Stealth means it cannot be detected because it does not. It is a stealth scan. Stealth scan. It cannot be detected. And the benefit of this particular scan is, um, this particular scan. can find out whether the port is open closed whether it is protected by a firewall and stealth means it would be not detectable not detected by firewalls or intrusion detection system since it does not complete does not complete three way handshake it does not complete three way handshake all right now for example let's say let's say uh, i want to run the sin scan so for sin scan let's say if this is for example a client running a software for example nmap most widely used uh, port scanning software and let's say this is my server so this is my server you can scan all the 65000 ports or you can scan common 1000 port typically nmap has a capability to scan the common 1000 ports or for example you can scan a specific port let's say i will scan port number 80 i want to scan this now what's going to happen i'm going to send a packet with sin flag on remember this tcp packet like this whole tcp packet with only this particular flag on i will send this packet to that particular port if the port is open if the port is open 100% they're going to reply you back with sin acknowledgement like two flags on 
No, this is the way how we will get to know the port is open. After that, we don't want, we will not send them a, a response. Instead, we will send them RST, like we are down. Because our ultimate goal was, we want to see that whether port is open or not. This is what we got. So for example, if the port would be closed, if the port would be closed, let's say this is uh, Nmap like client, and that's the server. So again, server is going to send, let's say again, the port 80, server is going to send a SYN packet. If the port is down, server is down, port, server is not running that, serv uh, that particular service, it's going to respond back with the flag RST, error, connection. It means port is closed. Very simple. And for example, if it is protected with a firewall, then they will not respond you back. Packet will be filtered. If you send a SYN request, it's going to be filtered out. All right. So uh, to run the stealth scan or SYN scan, the command of Nmap is Nmap space minus scan. What type of scan? SYN scan. All right, minus SS, and then you can put the target name, target.com, whatever the target website is. Let's say ggc.edu, whatever the website is. If you know the IP address, you can put that. And if you want to scan specific port number, so command will become nmap minus scan, which scan, sin scan minus p port 80, and then you can put the domain name or IP address. So this scan is called sin scan, stealth scan, not detectable. Uh, the second type of scan is called connect scan. So the second scan is called connect scan. Now connect scan is basically more reliable. Uh, more reliable, why? Because we will complete three-way handshake. Complete three-way handshake. But since you will complete the three-way handshake, it is more risky. Uh, your, this scan is going to be get logged. Intrusion detection systems, they are going to log it. So uh, there is a chance they can come back to you, of course, with the connect scan. But connect scan has more reliability. You can find more details like operating system or some other detail like version number. You can find more details on it. In connect scan, what happens? Let's say this is again Nmap and that's the client server. And you are basically scanning a specific port. Let's say port 80 again. So what's going to happen? You're going to send a SYN packet if the port is open. They're going to respond you back with SYN acknowledgement. All right. And then, of course, you need to complete the three-way handshake. So you're going to send them acknowledgement. After that, they're going to send you the payload, data, whatever you're requesting for. And then you can, of course, send a fin, uh, the FIN packet to terminate the request. All right. So if the port is open, this is what's going to happen. But if the port is closed, you already got it. So this is computer. This is server. And for example, this is the port number 80. So you will send a SYN request. If the port is closed, they're going to respond you back with RST because service is not running error. You will, you will get the TCP packet with RST flag on. If the port is protected with a firewall, no response. And the command is nmap space minus ST. So uh, scan which type of connect scan and then the domain name. Domain name. And if you want to, for example, add a port number, so just minus P space port 80 or whatever the port you want to scan. Number three, the third type of scan. The third type of scan is called null scan. Very common scan, null scan. In null scan, what we do? We don't, we basically send a packet without any flag on, like without any communication, without any session established, we send them a packet without any flag on. So what happens? So we send a TCP packet with no flag, no flag. So since there was no communication established, right? So it's no communication established. And let's say this is port 443 or port 80, whatever the port you're communicating to. So if no session was established, no session was established, it means, so firstly, you need to establish a session. So since you send a TCP packet without any flag on, so this is a violation of TCP rules. One of the flags should be on for the starting of communication. Once the communication session is established, so you can send a packet without any flag on. That's fine. It's normal. But you started communication without a flag on. So what's going to happen? You will not receive any response because if the port is open. So if the port is open, no response. They got you. They got you covered. They got you. Like you are trying to access uh, a service. You want to find information about a service, but you have not established a connection. So no response. And if the port is closed, if the port is closed, you are basically sending them a TCP packet without any flag, 
right? TCP packet, no flag on, like without any uh, initial synchronization, they're going to still respond you back with RST. RST mean that its port is closed because they don't understand nothing is being processed. This is called null scan and the command is nmap space minus s uppercase n and then domain name. Or you can of course put the IP address as well. Benefit of null scan is it is against stealth. It cannot be detected just like sin. Better than sin in fact because no flag is set here. All right. So this is like a stealth scan to check open or close port. The fourth scan is fin scan. Fin stand for finish scan. So just like null scan, just like uh, the sin scan, you will basically, this is a client and this is my target, port 443 or let's say port 25. Let's scan these two ports. So I'm going to send the packet to these two ports, right? When you do the scanning, again, the same applies to other scans as well. You can scan multiple ports, you can scan all the ports. So now what's going to happen? You are sending a TCP packet with, fin, with flag on, fin flag on. All right, like you're basically send a packet to somebody, finish. I mean, they will ask, what did we start? Like, for example, you're saying somebody, I'm breaking up with you. You're like, who are you to break up with me? So this is like a fin flag. So what's going to happen if you send a fin flag to this port and the service is running, they are not going to, no response. If port is open, no response. Because they understand what you're trying to, uh, trying to do. But if the port is closed, if the port is closed, each time you will get RST. Like port was closed, you're going to get RST. Then the fifth scan is called Christmas scan. X mass scan. Christmas, just like Christmas lights. We're going to send same way. We will, for example, I want to scan, let's say port 20. All right. So I'm going to send a TCP packet with three flags on. What are the three flags? Push flag on, urgent flag on, and fin flag on. These three flags on. So you are basically trying to say something like this. A packet is push whatever you have. Then, uh, I mean, process it immediately, urgent, and then finish. Like, hey, I like you, I love you, and I'm breaking up with you. This is basically Christmas flag. So like these three flags are on in this, uh, if you see, these three flags are on, which is again a violation. It cannot be on together. So these three flags are on. So what's going to happen? They understand if the port 20 get this particular packet, invalid packet, there will be, if the port is open, again, no response. And if the port would be closed, whatever you will send, like a stupid packet, port is going to say RST. Now, the last scan, it's called ACK scan. Six scan, ACK, acknowledgement scan. This particular scan is typically used to uh, detect the firewall. So if you want to detect a firewall, whether the firewall is present or not, we use the X scan. Uh, for Christmas scan and fin scan, the command is nmap minus s uppercase f and then the domain name. For Christmas scan, nmap minus s uppercase x and then the domain name. This is Christmas scan. You can add the port numbers later on, of course. X scan. X scan is just to detect the firewall. So for example, this is you and you want to, for example, scan whether this port 80 is protected with a firewall or not. Right. So what you're going to do, you're going to send a packet with act flag on acknowledgement flag on. And, you know, in acknowledgement comes the third time. If there is no firewall, for example, no firewall is present. So what's going to happen? They will take it uh, acknowledgement. What sort of acknowledgement they are doing? So they're going to actually send you back a reset like, hey, Please reset the session. Reset the session. Probably we, you might have missed the sync or we might have missed your synchronization. So it means the server or the application has processed the packet. If the post -pro packet has been processed, then what's going to happen? It means firewall is present. Is present, uh, absent, sorry. Absent and service is running. Is running. Service is running means port is open. But for example, the same way you have sent a acknowledgement request to port 80, but this time there is a firewall. If there is a firewall, firewall tracks the sessions. They track each and every packet. The firewall is going to see, hey, they didn't send any synchronization and we didn't respond to any synchronization acknowledgement. So they will not respond you back. No response. So no response indicates firewall is present is present it's not conclusive whether the port is open or not but we will declare the port is open firewall is present 
एंड कमांड इज एन मैप स्पेस माइनस एस अपर केस ए एक्नोलॉजमेंट स्कैन एंड देन द डोमेन नेम दिस इज बेसिकली वॉट वी डू सो दैट्स ऑल अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर इफ एनीबडी हैज एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन प्लीज सेंड मी कॉमेंट्स थैंक यू वेरी मच